Well, hello and good day. Hope that this video is finding you good health and in good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day today. Question for the cards. I want to take a look at the situation in Russia, the Russian-Ukraine war. At time of filming, the Ukrainians have taken the fight to Russia. It's been about almost a week, six days, since the Ukrainians have crossed into Russia in the Kirks region. And they've taken about a thousand square kilometers of Russian territory. Right? 300 and some odd square miles. I'm not sure. I, I don't do non metric very well. And of course, this is extremely humiliating for Vladimir Putin. And this is going to, if it continues, is going to cause some political problems and insecurity at home because Russian population has very nicely been able to avoid the fact that special military operation means it's not really a war, it's not really happening and no impact on us. Well, we now have people that are being evacuated from the border regions in order to, you know, for public safety reasons. Now, time of filming, the Russians said that they have, you know, stopped the advances and that they've turned the Ukrainians back, but... I don't believe anything that comes out of the Russian government, but you know, let's face it, propaganda works on both sides. And this is, this is a bold move, bold move on the part of the Ukrainians. And if nothing else, I mean, strategically, I mean, in addition to the political humiliation of uh, Putin, the, the Russians have to reroute resources in order to defend the border. So that's a very, very long border. And of course, the Russians are meeting manpower problems. And now they have a problem that has to be dealt with. So they are probably going to have to be pulling resources out of eastern Ukraine in order to, to deal with this. Which, of course, lightens the load on the Ukrainian defenders in the east of Ukraine. So this is a, a major development in the war. And so I wanted to run the cards on the situation. Up on deck, most appropriately, we have Glory to Ukraine tarot deck. And this is by Sestri Feldman, Pentagram Publishing in Ukraine. I like the deck, although it's, it's hard for me to read because it's... It's just, it's just the way it's laid out. I have very poor vision, so... There's a little hesitation when I'm pulling a card. It sometimes takes me a few seconds to figure out exactly what card I'm looking at. But we will just work with it. We'll just work with it. Signifier in this reading. We have the Six of Swords in a reverse position. This is a card about being stuck. This is a card about stagnation and trying to escape from, you know, that kind of reality that you find yourself in. And this is the situation that the Russians are in, right? They can't go forward because they've been trying that for two and a half years and they can't retreat. So yeah, there is a problem here and they are stuck. And this is crossed by the Six of Cups, my least favorite card that there is. This is the card about nostalgia and this is what's got them into this mess in the first place because uh, Vladimir Putin lives in a fantasy world in which, you know, he's got this idealized, mythologized version of Russian history and um, Ukraine doesn't exist as an entity. It's, it's part of greater Russia and he's there to reclaim it from um, these horrible people who have frustrated the will of the greater Russian population. And this is what has brought the entire thing into, and that's why he's trying to, you know, destroy Ukraine. Let's bring it back into the fold. We had to destroy the village in order to save it. Mentality. Here we go. In the past, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a card that is about beginnings, but it's about prosperity and abundance but it's in the past. 
And that's one of the problems. Russia should be a very wealthy country. It is blessed by natural resources that are unimaginable. Rare metals, gold, oil, natural gas, like the abundance, the abundance that is present in Russia is just like gobsmacking. And once upon a time, they had an extremely educated population that could work, right? But unfortunately, during the last hundred plus years of mis mismanagement, first by the Soviets and then with by Vladimir Putin, like they have lost, they've lost their educated class, they have lost population, they are in a population decline, and now with this war, they're more and more cut off and isolated from the rest of the world, which they need. So definitely prosperity is in the rear view mirror for Russia. In the future, we have the four of wands, but it's in a reverse position. And this can be a card about transition, but it's mostly a card about instability. Things are not going to get better. In fact, things are going to continue to get worse for Russia in this war. Politically, internal politics, international politics, and just the, the whole situation. It is getting rockier as we go. In the sky, the rating, of course, this is the overall overarching energy, the goals and aspirations, if you will, of the reading. We have the tower. Chaos, calamity, disaster, revolution, disruption, things going to hell in a handbasket. Here it is. That is not a good future looking. And it's not a good sky card for Russia. In the foundation, this is the underlying energy, this kind of energy that's propping the whole damn thing up. We have the page of swords in a reverse position. Now all pages are messengers. We'll pull the pages message at the end of the reading. But it is really a card that is about unproductive. Well, they've spent two and a half years trying to win what they thought was a three-week war. There's been a lot of miscommunications, been a lot of lies. And since the page is in a reverse position, it's more than likely bad news. But we'll pull that page's message at the end of the reading. Message from Spirit. We have the star card but it's also in a reverse position, right? This is a card that's normally about hope, but when it's reversed, we're talking about despair. And this is starting to sink into the population, right? That how things are going very, very badly. And it's economically, inflation is very high. Their buying power isn't very good anymore. And there isn't any, like you can't send money into people in Russia because there's just no way to get money over there. I have a friend who him and his wife have been providing some kind of support to her mother who lives in Siberia and they used to send a couple of hundred dollars every month which went a long ways to supplementing her very meager widow's pension and they can't do that anymore. So this elderly woman is really suffering because her children aren't able to provide the financial support that they normally would be able to. And this is a story that's repeated throughout the entirety of Russia. So the man on the street is starting to really feel it. Now, Putin has done his best to try and protect the politically vulnerable section, the, the Western part. Most of your conscripts in this war are coming from Eastern parts and Siberia and that sort of stuff. But that is becoming less and less, right? He's less able to protect those groups that have more political sway in the country. Now, in the environment, we have the Five of Cups. It's in a reverse position. This is a good card. 
me. All cards are, all fives are conflict cards, but when they're reversed, they're talking about peace. So in the environment, there is a lot of people that are looking forward to finding some degree of peace. So Russia, the Russian population is largely depoliticized. They, there's kind of a tacit social agreement as that Putin and the cronies, they deal with the politics and the people stay out of it, right? That agreement, that social contract is definitely under strain right now. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopes and fears. <laughs> the hopes and fears card is the nine of swords. It's in a reverse position. And this is a card that's about freedom and being empowered. So, yes, I think that this is the political impact on this is much more than the military or strategic or tactical applications to it. But politically, this is really undercutting Vladimir Putin's political support within the country. And final outcome here. Once again, we've got another five. We've got the five of wands also in a reverse position. So again, we have another card that's talking about peace. Peace, truce, agreements, and, you know, escalating the, kind of the good aspects of things. So this is really, really, it's a, it's a bit of a crazy move on the part of the Ukrainians. I mean, it's just a little bit nuts, but they might actually be able to pull this off. So we had a page in the reading. We had the page of swords in reverse position in the foundation. And that is the Ten of Wands in a reverse position. And this is a card that is all about burnout and breakdown. Things are starting to crack. And the found, it's the foundations. The political foundations in Russia are being undermined. And shadow card in the reading. We have the good old Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, you gotta love his energy. He's very passionate, he's very fearless, very enthusiastic. Doesn't always make the best decisions, right? It's a reckless. He's a reckless character. Well meaning, good hearted, but yeah, you don't you don't trust him with the family fortune. That's that's all I'm saying, right? So what do I think overall on this reading? Is I think I don't think this incursion into Kursk is going to last a long period of time. The Ukrainians are smart enough to know that they do not have the kind of resources that they need to, to take and hold territory. Because taking and holding territory, oh man, that is like a manpower suck. But they can, it's causing a diversion and they are being able to lighten inside Ukraine. Right, so that they can, because troops are having to be moved from Ukraine, Eastern Ukraine, Donbass area, and that sort of stuff, to defend the Russian border. But it is really wrecking havoc. I mean, the Kursk Oblast, a lot of civilians have been uh, removed from there, and some of the other around, surrounding oblasts, which are kind of like counties, right, are also being evacuated. And so, yeah, it's, it's getting interesting. It's getting crazy, getting crazy. But I do not think that the Ukrainians will be staying for a long period of time, but they don't have to because they have probably accomplished what they need to accomplish, certainly on a strategic level. So that's the reading for today. If you like this kind of content, by all means, hit that like button, right? Let's me know that you're interested in this kind of content because if people aren't liking the videos, like I don't produce more of them on that line. If you would do me a favor and subscribe to the channel because it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm and gets it out to more people and it grows our community and our community is a wonderful group of people and comment section by all means please, please throw a comment in. I love, what do you think of the topic? What do you think about the cards? What do you think about anything? You just want to talk tarot. 
I love it. Viewer requests, of course, are always welcome. And we are pretty crazy right now with the U.S. presidential election. And it has been just, whoa, the fastest moving thing going. It's just crazy trying to keep up with it. But I do like to keep some of this world news in the mix. And But right now, it is very <sighs> occupied with the ups and downs of the U.S. presidential election cycle. So, on that note, I'm going to stop wobbling it, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.